Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with Transfer Protocol. Um, I'm just so excited what God has been doing um, over these last um, 20 hours or so. It hasn't been a full 24 hours yet, um, but God is already causing breakthrough um, in my life. I know some of the people that I have a personal relationship on this channel uh, with, uh, I've gotten texts and phone calls from what God is doing in their lives as well. So um, I want to thank you guys for trusting that I'm, I'm hearing from God, trusting that, um, you know, the God in me um, is relaying you a message from heaven. So I uh, thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing um, as far as being obedient to that word. Um, but as far as the word I have for you guys now, um, I believe that we're stepping into to, uh, something awesome um, and interesting at the same time. Um, it's, it's interesting that the Bible uh, refers to God as being, can be awesome and terrible. Um, it's like, he's so good that he's terrible. Um, his goodness is overwhelming. And I believe we're about to uh, step into a season where we're going to see God's overwhelming love, overwhelming abundance, overwhelming joy um, hit our lives. Um, God is calling uh, those who believe into sonship, into daughtership. Um, he wants to have a personal and intimate relationship with him. And as we continue to have a personal and intimate relationship with him, he's going to visit us. He's going to, we're going to start to see and have supernatural encounters with the, with the Lord. And the reason, the purpose uh, behind the supernatural encounters um, is so that our faith can be increased because we're about to enter a season uh, where this world and everything that could be shaken is going to be shaken. And I know that there are people who are praying against this, uh, but we can see it clearly in scripture. It's already uh, been pre predestined that some of these things are just going to come to pass. And it's only for, for, for a purpose that, uh, again, uh, there's going to be a revival of souls. Um, the Lord is going to be winning lots of souls. There's going to be a great harvest. Um, but all these things are, are pushing uh, to the end. Uh, so we can live and reign with Christ uh, one day. Um, and again, well, I just want to encourage you guys right now specifically what your specific instructions are to be doing right now. Um, what's going to happen, I believe all the, the keen and the most keen prophetic voices all have been uh, alluding to this and saying this. Um, and the, the word of the Lord tells us to believe the prophets that um, right now we're entering um, a seven year period where there's going to be um, a requirement for us to be storing up, to be harvesting things. Uh, because um, at the end of the seven year period, we're going to experience, um, I'm trying to find the right effective word for it. We're going to experience uh, famine in this land um, that's worse than the thing that hit us three years ago. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to, um, to put into words, there's going to be mayhem and devastation that's going to hit this world. Um, but again, um, there's a shift that's happening right now. We don't operate under the world system. Um, God is calling us to sonship so we can operate under the kingdom's um, systems. We have our own system of government. We have our own system and a rule. We have our own system of everything. And God is calling us uh, to build our ark right now. And what your ark is, the thing that's going to keep you safe um, in this trouble time over these, or after these seven year period is advanced revelation knowledge. You're going to have to have a download from heaven. You're, you may not be able to find uh, prophetic voices on, on YouTube in seven years because um, we understand that um, 
the enemy is going to be working. He's going to be doing everything he can to silence uh, some of these voices. So you're going to have to have your own prayer life. You're going to have to know the word of God for yourself. You're going to have to be able to go and receive what your instructions are uh, from the Lord yourself. Uh, so right now, um, whatever the Lord is placing on your heart to do, to build, uh, to go out, to minister to, um, it's time to do that now. It's time to do that now. Uh, yesterday, after I released the word on this channel, um, I was walking and there was a lady who was laying uh, on the ground. Maybe you guys saw the video uh, on this channel earlier. Her name was Kelsey. And I believe the Holy Spirit was pulling me um, and drawing me to to pray for her. And I, I, it looked like she was sleeping. Um, and I, I was like, no, it's not God. This is not God. I'm, um, I'm, I'm just imagining seeing her. I'm just feeling the glory. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pray for her. I'm not gonna stop her. I'm not gonna bother her because she was laying down with her two dogs. And it, it, like I said, it, it looked like she was sleeping. And um, this morning after uh, I came to the park to do my own video, I was gonna release uh, what is this video that I'm recording right now. Um, I ended up running into her and uh, I could feel that same pull, the same pull I felt yesterday uh, to pray for this lady or to at least just go up and talk to her. Um, I did. So we, we crossed paths and um, I began to talk to her and I could I could sense there was some type of uh, uh, discomfort in her body. Um, but as I began to, to pray to her, uh, what, you know, I uh, pray to speak with her. I'm sorry. Um, I could see that it looked like it was some type of growth that was on her hand. Um, and I, I asked her, was that, was that like a tumor or was, what's going on there? And, um, cause it, that's what it looked like. But, it, uh, she began to explain to me that she had been in a really bad car accident over 20 years ago and they had to take, um, I think uh, tissue from her leg or another part of her body and uh, basically re put her hand together so the thing the heavy thing that you're seeing in her hand is not um, it's not like a tumor um, it's just that's what they had to put on her hand to uh, to seal up her hand and you can see there's other visible uh, wounds that she has on her hand but because of the surgeries because of the things that she um, had she has lost uh the sensation um in the in the tips of her fingers uh, that she had before over 20 years ago right and um again uh, i i know that i'm i've been soaking in the glory i've been with the lord um i'm following the same instructions that i gave to you guys here meeting with the lord seven times um so i feel the overflow of his presence i feel the overflow um of his goodness so i i'm i was confident i could feel the lord um leading me to pray for her and uh, to pray with her and as she uh, as we prayed together um after the prayer um again i, I felt like the fire coming down from heaven was praying for her um, after the prayer um she asked me could she give me a hug and um of course um i i know that we're sent and we're called we're called to show the love of christ um in our life and I know some people would, you know, see somebody who's like possibly living outside and they think about all these things. And uh, I'm like, no, of course you go hug me. I, I don't have no problem with that. Uh, so I hug her as I begin to hug her. Um, she, she tells me that she said she, you know, she gets taken back for a second to tell that something happened. And um, and she was began to explain to me about how, you know, she felt the hug and that she had not, hadn't been able to feel uh, those things in, in her fingers before. Uh, but it was because of the prayers of the saints that she was able to, to feel that in her hand. So um, I just think about um, all the times that we tell God no, uh, we tell God we're not gonna do, we're not gonna be obedient uh, to what he's calling us to do. We feel the pull. Um, or even sometimes we'll hear God's voice and we just try to drown it out with our own thoughts and we're disobedient to what God is calling us to do because it seems crazy it seems illogical it makes us uncomfortable uh, to do some of the things that God has placed in our heart to do 
but uh, I was obedient this time and um, you know the sensation is coming back where she can feel um, I went to the ATM I got her some money um, because the Lord told me to sell a specific amount of money into her life um, I went to 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 do that and as I came back um, she was in her car she was reading the Word of God and um, um, it just blessed my spirit to see that she was encouraged um, and she tells me that um, even more feeling is coming back since I since I had left um, but it just reminds me of like what happens those opportunities that we miss what happens um, the times that we say no to God um, there's a scripture that says a full fool believes there is no God um, but the words there is are an italicis um, in scripture so that means that in the original text that uh, the words there is was not in that original text um, a fool says no God um, and I, I just feel let's just ask us how long are we going to remain foolish how long are we going to remain ignorant to what God is doing in this season and um, uh, I know that it's, it, it probably seems like I'm all over the place because there's like a thousand different ideas that are going through my head uh, that I want to make sure that I'm covering in this video. But the, the main purpose and the main focus of this video is that it's going to require in this season uh, for you to advance, for you to prosper, for you to be in good health, um, advance revelation knowledge from God. You're going to have to listen to when God is telling you to do something. Um, if you do not want to be foolish, if you do not want the, the consequences that come with being a fool, um, that we can clearly see that are outlined in the word of God, then you're going to have to listen to the pulling and the, the discernment that the Holy Spirit is, is giving you. Sometimes it's not going to be an audible word. Sometimes it's not going to be, um, uh, you're going to know exactly what to say, but just be obedient to that pull. Um, some of you guys are being pulled to certain areas of business. Uh, some of you guys are being pulled to uh, certain areas of entertainment. Some of you guys are being pulled to certain areas of government and politics and all the sectors of, of this world. Um, we, the kingdom of God, we're going to infiltrate all the systems of this world because in those turbulent times where chaos is starting to ensue and people are losing hope, people who are going to be on the verge of suicide and, and hurting themselves and hurting other people are going to see the light of God that's on your life. They're going to see you in, in full peace and full prosperity and full health. And they're going to wonder and ask you, what is different about you? And that's going to be your open invitation to begin to minister the word of God to them and show them through your life, through your lifestyle, that the presence of God is on your life, the hand of God is on your life. And that's going to be your greatest testimony. That's going to be your greatest witness, is you being the walking representation of God. So again, um, if you're on this channel, you're thinking about wealth transfer, how is the wealth transfer is going to happen? This is the only way that I know that the Lord has revealed to me. And I've been saying this message in many different ways from the beginning since we started here on this channel is going to come from the instructions that God is giving you trusting in the instructions that God is giving you there's going to be advanced revelation knowledge God is going to deposit it into your spirit um, I've seen this happen so many times in my life I can give you guys one specific uh, situation uh, that came to mind when I was thinking about recording this video to you guys um, so that I can wrap this up uh, for you guys um, is I was in my shower and um, I could see clearly that I should be running a specific type of Facebook ad uh, to a specific type of people uh, for a specific type of product and um, that if I did that it would be successful and um, it ended up being one of the greatest campaigns or the greatest campaign I ever um, I ever produced um, as far as leads are concerned. I generated over 30,000 leads uh, for my business in the matter of, of like 21 days um, with a budget of like less than $700, which again, in most uh, marketing and media circles, 
most this this would have cost possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars to produce god is going to take the little that you have he's going to put his supernatural on your natural he's going to put his um providential on your practical uh, obedience to doing what god is uh, drawing you to do when you do that people are going to be in amazement at your results people are going to be in amazement of your wealth um it's going to you're going to look like an overnight success you're going to look like you came out of nowhere but it's really because you've been in that secret place abiding in the lord you've been hanging out with him you've been developing relationship with him you've been developing sonship with him and it's because he wants to bless his sons and daughters in this season so um if you're a child of God, if you're a son or daughter of the Most High God, um, this is your warning uh, to prepare. Go into your time. Go into that intimate, secret place with the Lord. Get the instructions. Get the ark. Get your, get what you're supposed to build. Get the advanced revelation knowledge of God and, and begin to build it. Begin to move. You have seven years to get what you need to get done um, because um, it's coming. Devastation is coming to this land. Um, Again, we can pray that it's lessened, um, but it's coming. It's coming. It's already written in the Word of God. And I know this sounds controversial to some people. They're going to say you can pray against anything, uh, but you cannot pray out of the will of God. Um, this, 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 this thing is already written in, in the book. We can see it clearly in Scripture. Um, in Scripture, a lot of these things are cyclical. Um, we are live, living in that season where Joseph's have to arise. People who have this advanced revelation knowledge to be able to tell um, and instruct us on what we need to do. So those instructions are going to come from the throne room of heaven. You have to spend time with God. Um, and again, I'm, I'm so excited for what God is doing. Um, if you didn't get the instructions from yesterday, uh, I'm going to put a link to that video. Go ahead and follow those instructions. We're seeing people have breakthroughs in 24 hours or less um, by following those instructions. I promise you it's going to bless your life. Follow the instructions. Trust the prophets. Believe in the prophet, what the words of the prophets are saying. Um, and you're going to see an increase in your life. So God bless you guys. I pray that the most high living God would shower you with abundance, blessings, um, and that your ears of understanding and your eyes of understanding would be open in this season on what strategy you need to implement. I'm going to be coming on here. I'm going to be sharing you guys with you guys strategies that Lord, the Lord has given me. Um, but even more important than that is going to be what is the Lord telling you to do? What is the Lord um, placing on your heart to do? Those are going to be the most profitable, most fruitful things that you can do in your life in this season right now. So be obedient to the word of God. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.